are you? How are we doing? Good afternoon. It's been a couple of weeks. Last weekend was a bit busy. New electrical appliances for the kitchen, like ovens. Had to get wired in and things like that. So there was a bit of a rebuild of the house going on last week. So didn't get a chance to get anywhere near. Turning a camera on and recording a shave. So, right, the razor for today, timeless, aluminium, three piece, non adjustable, with a 0.45 blade gap, I think it is, yeah. So, timeless razors, absolutely cracking. Top cap. As you can see, scalloped as the base plate with the, uh, the nipples or the bars to hold the blade. From a 6061 T6 aluminium. So all the details are engraved on the base cap there, as you can see. And inside that one, we've got this. Well, we're going to have this, which is in its second use, which is a Gillette Ruby Platinum Plus. So there's the blade there. So I've got a topic for today. And that topic is: Is it correct and/or appropriate for? YouTuber, YouTube channel to adversely affect an artisan, soap maker's business model. Discuss that in the comments. We'll get back to that one later on. So there's the blade loaded up there. That's the razor. Okay, the soap. Uh, going a singular winter scent really chiselled face pine tar towel based soap which it looks like it's nice and dark it is pine tar so that's the soap and the brush is my 3D printed silk smoke uh, I've got a few more of these if uh, anybody's up for, you know, or interested in getting one in the same handle and knot combination get in touch and uh, we can sort something out all the lads in my in the telegram group who got them so there's a few more The only chiselled face sort of used before is cry again. Now this soap comes packaged in a white PET or HDPE high density polyethylene tub which is recyclable. The lid is black. In Europe that's not recyclable. at the moment not many places black plastics are a bit of a no-no so yeah is it correct appropriate or right for somebody to make a light-hearted video possibly not without thinking about ramifications or the artisans that they mentioned because there's no forethought given to making the video it's just turn on camera engage brain open mouth and blether or maybe there was forethought and because the artisan concerned isn't American the I don't want to give a shit attitude kicked in
I don't know. I don't care. I don't subscribe to the channel. Uh, no names, no pack drills. I'm sure people, some will be able to work out who I'm referring to. No doubt some of the clan, tribe or cult of his following will uh, click on to this. Last time I said something in my video there was outcry for, from some of his followers <sighs> face concern. The subject I'm referring to is recycling, in which a video was made a while back about aluminium containers. In some parts of the world, shaving soaps can't be sold in plastic containers. But there's probably no research into that beforehand. As I say, it was just a, probably a turn camera on, disengage brain, open mouth, without thinking. However, let's have a look. Moon soaps, fully black plastic. It arrived, dented, labels were all dented and skew with. Look crap in shade of the day, photographs. It's also not recyclable, so it has to go in the landfill. Black plastic in the UK is almost impossible to recycle at this moment in time. Aluminium cans on the other hand. Yeah, there's a couple of dents in that one from the mail. But it's reusable and recyclable. And before anybody starts, that's one of Matty Lindholm's soaps in his original container. But the video I mentioned, the artisan, that was, yeah, I was usually criticised in that video. They've had to change their business model to do trade in the States. So he's gone from having a product and a container to put the product in. He's now had to buy a separate product purely on the back of that video. So stockists in the across the pond in the States will actually hold stock of his his goods. And he didn't buy the cheap black plastic crap. He's actually gone out and made an outlay to buy the high density polyethylene tubs which are recyclable, fully recyclable. But he's had to do that off the back of a light-hearted video criticising the use of aluminium tubs in wet shaving. And plastic doesn't really fare any better when it dents, becomes misshapen. Anyhow, back to today, the scent is it's pine tar. It's 
certainly what I would class as a winter scent. It tastes quite good though. Performance wise, no issues at all because at the moment there's residual slickness on the skin. And uh, Everything's got a brown sort of tinge though, the water in the sink, where the soap is, from the, the razor. The temptation with the lack of weight in the aluminium is to apply pressure, which isn't good. It's not a good thing to do with a lightweight razor. Use what weight it has in the shaving angle and you'll still get a good shave. Use pressure and you'll get soreness aggravation. It's been quite good in this shave. I downloaded a, a set of uh, sweary beeps to use in videos. So if I go for on one, on this one, all you hear is beep, beep, beep. But I've been quite good. I'm quite surprised with myself. Anyhow, it's Sunday afternoon. Watched three games of rugby yesterday. South Africa had far too much for Scotland. The All Blacks played horrible. Ireland played pretty well. And uh, England beat Australia. Wales play later on today. So we may as well give that a spin in a wee while.
yeah, it's a scent. This soap is a scent that you either you either like it or you love it. It's a Marmite scent. I would say. It's certainly Decent strength, strength. It is what it says on the label. Soap's not. That's very hasly. There we go folks, we're done. Time for a face wash. Feels really good. Feels quite nice. I'm going to keep it quite simple today because that's such a polarising scent. I'm just going to go with a a simple balm just to get some moisture back into the skin and uh, take things from there so a little bit of moisturizer no need for witch hazel So there we have it. Chisel face pine tar. Use it on there, and that's my thumbnail, I think, because I can't even bother taking a photograph. So, chisel face pine tar. Yeah, towel based pine tar soap. If you like one dimensional scents that are polarising, it's worthwhile looking at. The brush was a silk smoke 26mm in a 3D printed handle I had made up from design by Steve Tinter. If you want your own, the files are on the internet, go find them download it, get them printed. It's not rocket science. The razor, timeless aluminium, 0.45 blade gap. And yeah, it's timeless, it just works. And the razor, and the razor, mm. the blade, was a giant ruby, platinum plus. Yep, on its second use. So if you have any comments regarding recycle ability, wet shaving on there, anything else, leave them below. If you're passing on any hate from anybody, do one, can't be bothered with it. Uh, that's been very polite about it. And uh, 
yeah thanks for watching bye for now